Hey guys, welcome to BSL 18, Group D, round of 32. Oh, I need to update the score. Thank you, Skin Crawler, who gets the shout out on the YouTube thing for letting reminding me to update the score. Byaxter is in fact up. Fortunately, it blocks out the overlay. Uh, so you get the little black thing, but now the score is updated. Did they go with the same color? Okay, no. I st they're still not doing top versus bottom, So, but a uh, little bit better color distinction this time. 12 o'clock location. Too sexy for you as the gray Protoss, bottom right in corner by Axter. As the green Protoss, this is on Apocalypse, which again is a three-player rampless map. <clears throat> by Axter pulling out all the stops last game and really has been pulling out a lot of stops. Uh, we'll see... If the shenanigans uh, help him get all the way to the, honestly, might this season. It'll be interesting to see him versus Jumper in particular. Because Jumper, this is the, uh, once we get to Jumper games, if he remain, didn't withdraw, it's very much his style to do a lot of the similar sort of craziness. Defensive pylons initially, so I don't think we're going to see additional gateways or uh, two gateway plays. Either way, we'll have to see though. We, were, we have one gateway right this second out for Byaxter, one gateway opposite side. Usually if you're going for the two gate, you put that uh, that pylon a little bit further forward. Three gate play, again, uh, I think I've mentioned this previously, very, very strong. You can survive to two gate Reaver. I think it's very, very strong. <clears throat> Simulator drop because of that lack of ramp. One thing, I feel like Reavers really benefit for having a ramp upside the natural expansion because then you don't you can't get hunted down as easily. You can rely on that misfire from the high ground, fire high ground to low ground. Since cybernetics core on, it looks thus far like we got mirrored builds. Sexy somehow, maybe because of just the mining positions or maybe because of, I don't think either of these guys are mineral boosting. Uh, usually you'll see some attempts at mineral boostings with the guy at the pro league level at the very early stages, but usually not at this stage, so I'm wondering if it was just a better split, potentially. But right now, Sexy just like a half micron behind, not game ending, but is revealing the two gates to Byaxter. I'll be curious if Byaxter, upon seeing the two gate, opts to go one gate robo and straight to support bay. Could be an interesting play. I have to say, I really like PvP on the rampless maps more than the ramp maps. I think it just makes it more interesting games. Range also upgrading behind all this first sell it actually getting aggressive walking out in the field is it just going to try to hold this higher ramp or is it going to try to hunt that is he trying going to try to mix it up in the main that would be a little bit nuts maybe noticing that there was no defensive zealot opposite side wants to try to get some worker kills nice read by Byaxter, i have to say if that's the case still a second dragoon building and it looks like it's going to be a delayed additional gateway but this zealot creating enough chaos is going to provide that support and it looks like yeah this is what by extra wants to do, he's like, okay, if you're not going to build an initial defensive zealot, then I am going to get aggressive with the troops I've got and press and try to get a couple worker kills if I can. So the probe coming up to support, the dragoon spawning in the opposite end, so a little bit away, working on gas, so that's going to be some gas disruption. Everything off gas right now, so additional gas delay. And what's great, the other advantage of this is this also ends up looking like Wow, he's already got two probe kills. Finally getting interrupted right there. Three probe kills. Or sorry, never mind. That was a uh, that was by Axter's probe getting taken care of. But look at this probe difference already, because there was a lot of interruption as far as uh, sexy getting a little bit. Uh, he still hasn't queued up an additional worker. Oh, because of supply block. That would be why didn't get that pylon down. All right, that might be a. It might turn into a quick game. Because now we're having a worker deficit. He's not able to build it. Yeah, he's just starting to press those Dragoons forward. That's a sad way to go out, is to get distracted, not drop your third pylon, and run into problems that way. And also, three gate behind us from Byax, or Byax are stepping up, stepping back a second. If Sexy walks into the main here, he's also going to get folks fired down. He's going for emergency mode behind this. He's got Settle of a Dune. So we'll see if Byax drops robotics facility. If he does, that should be an effective game win. Oh! Worker wandering out discovers. And now we got maybe two Dragoons down. Two Dragoons down. Everything going right for Byaxter right this second. But DT follow up. 
And you got to respect, is there respect for the DTs? Are we going to see robotics or are we going to see straight natural expansion after killing two Dragoons that might encourage by Axter? No, he's just going to, he's skipping the robotics. So this could be a win for Sexy, depending. But he's still got to defend. And right now he doesn't have a lot of troops to defend with. So it's five Dragoons. The damage, or I should say the, the shield depleted Dragoon is leading on the front. Let's see if they get shuffled as Byaxter moves forward. You usually want those damaged Dragoons towards the rear. He's got, to, he produced two Zealots in the midst of this, but that Templar Archives has finished. And we got two Dark Templar being constructed along the way. Keep in mind, rampless. So not insufficient to, uh, you can't, there's nothing to block, but we got more Dragoons making their way out. Byaxter currently holding, he's waiting maybe for that additional round of Dragoons. And Sexy it looks like he was going to try to do DTs into expansion as more of a defensive play. And by extra, unfortunately, so he's, did he drop a forge? Is that a forge behind this? There's, that is a forge behind this, so it might be timing. So Nexus immediately canceled. Exposed to the Dark Templar. Does he see the Shimmer? I think he might see the Shimmer. <clears throat> it's actually be, might be a good time. So yeah, walking past that, distracting the Dark Templar, giving himself time. So forge is finished. Needs to get some cannons down. He's got cannons in the main, but not defending the gateways as of yet. There's the cannon towards the gateway. Stepping into this with his Dragoons. Trying to get as much damage as possible. And honestly, this is a lot of damage that could get... Like, he can focus down these pylons, potentially, if he walks this right. Or go into the worker line. And create a lot of problems. Sexy evacuating the workers trying to give time for the Dark Templar to do what they can. Second Dark Templar makes it into the main, trying to work on the forward cannon. That cannon completes, and there's nothing to assist, it looks like. So it looks like the gateways are, in fact, exposed, but in the meantime, the Dragoons have managed to get a good amount of worker kills in the opposite space. That cannon not finishing, so now those workers are going to get killed. Is that... So are we... Ooh! Shot on the corner. That Dark Templar is very close to dead. Robotics facility getting dropped. So, and wow, the Dragoons actually behind the micro, dropping Sexy's worker count to 11. Two additional Dark Templar right there. They might actually be able to flood in and gun that cannon down. We'll see. This gateway is still exposed. So a couple gateways exposed. Observatory coming online. Might want to cancel that Dragoon. Okay, yeah, can Dragoon canceled out there. Nice and heads up. By extra with the worker lead is denied his natural expansion. Might lose a lot of gateways here. This is going to be... I'll be interested to see the timing of this. Uh, how much damage. Some additional gateways getting dropped. This is going to be close. And more Dark Templars making their way in. So I think this Observer should be at... Nope. The Observer is not going to be out in time. To save at least one of these gateways. Well, maybe. So additional gateways getting dropped. Additional probes dying. All that spread. The Observer finally out. But the gateway's gone. Now the Dark Templar are going to get cleaned up. By Axter, kind of an interesting situation where I think it might be better to just drop Foregate rather than grabbing the natural expansion. And go from there. Let's see what he decides to do. With that Observer, he's starting to push out and get aggressive. Natural expansion's been grabbed from Sexy, so he could go ahead and try to catch up in workers second observer making its way out towards the natural no additional dark templar as of yet counter templar archives and it looks like by extra does want to grab a second base but he's going to drop it again at a hidden position it seems to be his mo in all these games thus far the dragoons pressing forward there's only two and that might be a canceled nexus or a dead nexus depending on this but a great focus fire again from by and good job drawing the damaged Dragoons away. So now, without any Dark Templar to stop, that's going to be... Yeah, this... Yeah, there's GG again from Sexy. And good luck ahead, very manner, from Byaxter. But Byaxter showing some very Protoss play <laughs> in moving on to the round of 16. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.